So the House has voted 352 to 65 for a bill that could ban TikTok. What does this mean for you? Let's talk about it. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan. And today we got to talk about the U.S. House voting overwhelmingly in a bipartisan fashion for a bill that could ban TikTok here in the U.S. of A. Now, there's a lot going on here. There's a lot to discuss. There's a lot of reasons why this is happening. But first things first, let's back up. Let's give some context. Now, Joe Biden recently said that if he was presented a bill that would ban TikTok, he'd sign it. Now, he didn't give a reason. He didn't give an explanation why he said this, but he did say it. Now, all of a sudden, you have a bill it was presented in the House. It passed overwhelmingly. Now, the next two steps would be to go to the Senate and then get signed off on by the president, and the bill would be law. Now, I don't think the Senate will actually stop this bill from going through because of how overwhelming it was in the House. I don't really see that happening. And Biden already said he signed off on it, so I don't see him being the stop here. So I think this bill will pass. Now, here's a question. Will this ban TikTok? Is TikTok over with? I don't think so. I don't think we're going to see TikTok get banned, but I think the goal here is to transfer not ownership necessarily, but to transfer influence. Let me explain. TikTok is owned by a Chinese company called ByteDance. Now, since they're owned by a Chinese company, the Chinese Communist Party has complete jurisdiction on whatever they do. Okay, you want to have user data from TikTok given to the Chinese Communist Party? Cool. Anything that TikTok has, so does China. If China wants TikTok to put a little something extra in the algorithm to influence the way you think, the way you behave, the way that you vote potentially, then TikTok will do that. The U.S. government does not want TikTok to have that level of influence. So they want to be the ones who influence TikTok, meaning the U.S. government, rather than the Chinese Communist Party. So what this bill seeks to do is force ByteDance to sell TikTok to another company. This was already proposed under Trump. And there were a few suitors back then. I think Microsoft and some other companies were in the running. I'm not quite sure who would buy this particular asset, but that's the goal is for ByteDance, a Chinese company, to sell it to a U.S. company or at least a non-Chinese company, a company that would not be influenced by the Chinese Communist Party. That is the goal here. Now, will it happen? Probably. Maybe. I don't know. I can't tell. I think TikTok would rather sell and still keep getting that money rather than not sell because they want the Chinese influence. But then again, the Chinese people, the Chinese Communist Party might not want to sell because now we're getting into some cultural things. It's about face, about saving face. We're not going to let the U.S. bully us into selling our asset. We're not going to do that. We're going to keep TikTok. We're going to keep controlling it. And their citizens are going to be saying the government is wrong for making TikTok go away. There's already, if you go on TikTok right now, there's pop-up ads talking about call your local representative and all that kind of stuff to make sure that TikTok doesn't get banned, to make sure TikTok doesn't get sold. They want to use the American consumer to pressure the American government into keeping TikTok around. Now, I have some videos I want to get to, but one thing I want to talk about very briefly is that TikTok is actually banned in China, believe it or not. Yes, it is a Chinese company. Yes, it is controlled by the Chinese Communist Party. Yes, it is wildly successful and popular, but it is banned in China. Now, they do have their own version of TikTok in China called Douyin, but Du Yin is not TikTok. Please believe it. The content you see, the algorithm you participate in is not available in China directly. They can do VPNs and things of this nature to bypass Chinese law. But as far as I know, last I checked, and if wrong, you let me know in the comments, 
it's illegal to have a VPN in certain parts of China. Now, I'm not quite sure if it's enforceable, but I'm not really going to tempt fate in a place where you could be a billionaire like Jack Ma and get disappeared for six months just because by the Chinese Communist Party, allegedly. I don't want to tempt fate that way. But that whole thing about billionaires getting disappeared, different story. I digress. The whole point is that the Chinese Communist Party bans TikTok in their country because they don't want their citizens to be fed the garbage trash that we get fed in the West. They don't want that to be happening. They want more positive stories and they want to control the narrative on social media. They understand how important it is to control social media and the narrative. And so does the U S government. And that's what it's all about controlling the narrative. That's all. It's not even about necessarily the algorithm being dangerous and because we got bad algorithms here. You're talking about Instagram and all kind of, we got some bad stuff over here, but at the end of the day, the U S government can control it. Okay. You can bring Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk and uh, uh, the, the CEO of Google. You could bring all these guys to Congress and pressure them to do certain things. You can have more influence over it. If they are a U.S. based company rather than being over in a Chinese Communist Party. Now, let's get to a couple of videos here. This video was before the actual ban took place. And, of course, I will link to everything I'm talking about right now in the box. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. So the government is currently trying to ban TikTok. It's an all-out blitz. She does. Now, these are all TikTok videos about uh, the government trying to ban TikTok. So you can see TikTok is... Um, incentivizing their users in the U.S. to basically become lobbyists. This is the power of the Chinese Communist Party, and that's exactly why the U.S. government wants to take the power away from them. You see? Let's vote yes. I will not be voting for her in the primaries, and I will write in a different candidate. TikTokers was... taking to their cell phones to literally call on Congress to shoot down a bill that could effectively ban the wildly popular app. The rally and cry coming directly from TikTok itself. Pop-ups on the app urging users to speak up now. And so let's, let's read this TikTok, right? Let's, let's read this uh, pop-up ad on TikTok. It says, stop a TikTok shutdown. Congress is planning a total ban of TikTok. Speak up now before your government strips 170 million Americans of their constitutional right to free expression. <laughs> Imagine that come from the Chinese Communist Party. Uh, this will damage millions of businesses, destroy the livelihoods of countless creators across the country, and deny artists an audience. Let Congress know what TikTok means to you and tell them to vote no. Enter your five-digit zip code to find your rep. So now we're harvesting data of where you live, your local reps, and all that good stuff, right? And warning, if passed, the proposed bill would destroy the livelihoods of countless creators. Anna Jones in Montana sells handmade metalworks on TikTok and says she's going to call. What are you going to ask your congressperson to do actionably? advocate for the small businesses but democrats and republicans are on the same page in a 50 to 0 vote advancing a bill on wednesday that would force chinese company ByteDance to sell tiktok within six months citing national security concerns now let's pause right here you see what they said right here is what i said about the bill forcing ByteDance to sell to basically a u.s company a non-chinese company they're saying it's a ban but the bill it's not about banning it specifically. It's about transferring the influence and control from the Chinese Communist Party to the U.S. That's going to be the battle right there. And that battle may result in the app being banned because the Chinese Communist Party may refuse to sell the company. China is at war with us. And they use TikTok as a weapon. If ByteDance fails to sell, the app will be banned nationwide. TikTok concerned about being able to divest that quickly, while in a statement characterizing the legislation as a total ban. The chief concern critics say protecting U.S. data from the Chinese government, which TikTok has repeatedly denied. ByteDance is not owned or controlled by the Chinese government. That's complete BS. And this is um, the CEO of TikTok. I'm not quite sure if he's a, a CEO of TikTok U.S. or what, but... This is the guy that Tom Cotton was asking, are you Chinese? Do you have a Chinese passport? And then 
a lot of the news coverage said that he was racist for asking such questions. Meanwhile, this guy has been the CEO of other Chinese companies. And although he is Singaporean, Singapore is a Chinese colony with 80% ethnic Chinese, probably 80% ethnic Han Chinese. So, I mean, come on, let's not, let's stop playing games. Let's not act like this guy doesn't go to China, doesn't speak Mandarin, does not communicate with Chinese Communist Party officials. He most certainly does. And to say anything else is a lie. It's a private company. For creators like Anna Jones, the concerns are real. I just feel like losing TikTok will just kind of, it'll have everything go downhill. And I don't want to lose my business. If the bill passes both the House and the Senate, the White House has indicated support for it, with the National Security Council spokesperson calling it, quote, an important and welcome step, Hoda. So to move quickly, though. Yeah, really hitting a nerve, this one. All right, Brian, thank you so much. So that's what's happening. I mean... That's that's pretty much a long and short. That's what is going on. Again, the bill passed the House 365 to 62. So that is an over two thirds majority bipartisan Democrats, Republicans on the same page. And again, the ultimate goal here is to transfer the influence and control. Yes, it's owned by ByteDance, a quote unquote private company. But any company in China will be controlled by China. There are certain laws in the country that make it so. So for the CEO of TikTok to say, oh, well, we're not beholden to them. We're a private company. That's disingenuous at best. And I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? Do you think it's a good idea for this bill to press forward to force ByteDance to sell to a U.S. company or a non-Chinese company? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. I mean, you guys know where I'm at. I think that ultimately they are going to have to sell. That's probably going to be the best middle ground for them. And if they don't sell, then yes, it will be banned in the U.S. That's going to cause a problem. A lot of businesses are dependent upon that. A lot of people, a lot of artists, a lot of music people are dependent upon that. Small businesses. It's going to be a problem if it gets banned. And I don't know where we go from here. I think other companies, your Instagrams, your Facebook, your Twitter, They'll pick up the slack. They're already having, I think a lot of companies as I close were already preparing for this because they have shorts on YouTube and reels on Instagram. It's the same thing as TikTok. So they're already preparing for an exodus of people to leave that platform and come to the existing US platforms to fulfill the same purpose. And if TikTok doesn't sell, that's going to be what happens. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.